It's Saturday night and you're heading to the races. If you don't know too much about the horses, then root for the driver. And at many tracks where he races, Hazel Park, Pompano, Windsor, or even Dresden, you can hear the chants. Kevin Wallace has the game of harness racing figured out better than just about anyone. He's at or near the top of the driver and training standings at two tracks, Hazel in the summer, Pompano in the winter. Last year he led the U.S. training stats for those with over 200 starts with better than a 500 average. That's a winner every other time he starts a horse trained by him. Kevin Wallace, he's an aggressive driver and which it rates a horse well. Oh, I think Kevin's the best I've seen around here. Uh, I, I think he'd fit anywhere. You know, he's just amazing. He wins a lot of races and gets some good horses home and bad horses home. Kevin Wallace, I think he's the best. He's, you know, he's clicked over the driving for us and, uh, and ever since he's been driving us, we've been winning the training titles. <laughs> so it's got to be the best. Here at the Kevin Wallace Farm, Bill Edwards starts the daily routine of feeding and grooming the horses for the early morning jog. Kevin's a good guy to work for, and it's it's always nice when you can work for somebody that wins a lot of races. And you know, it's, people are always commenting on, "Don't you ever get tired of winning races or going to the winter circle or the test barn or whatever?" And I say, "No, it's a lot of fun, <laughs> and it's lucrative too." The thing that makes Kevin so special is that he has an ability to pick out good horses, and he 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 drives. I don't know, he has a lot of luck and, and his ability to drive a horse is, is special. Just about when Phil has the first horse jog, Kevin arrives to pitch in. I've uh, been in racing a little over 25 years. Uh, first experience, uh, I guess, was grooming horses uh, you know, at an early age and uh, I liked it a lot and uh, I guess I just never quit it. Where do you, what do you attribute your driving skills to? No. Uh, Good horses, I think, helps a lot. <laughs> what's more important? There's that, that question, what's more important, the driver or the horse? What's the percentage? I would say the horse makes makes you look like a good driver if you get a good horse. Uh, I like to own my own horses. Uh, if they're doing well, it's uh, there's a lot of pleasure in it. Uh, if they're not doing well, it's not not very pleasurable experience. Uh, but I've been very fortunate and lucky at it. And, uh, you know, it's a lot better to, a lot more satisfaction to win when you're uh, getting 100% of the purse than 5%. One of the most amazing things about Kevin Wallace is his ability to move a horse up when he drives that horse for the first time. I guess I have a good rapport with horses and uh, they like like me and, and I like them and uh, we just, with most horses I just get along with them well. You're uh, very kind to a lot of these horses. You're not a slasher with, uh, with the whip. Uh, you never hurt a horse. There are people that say that you always bring back the horse uh, the way uh, that you got it after a race is over. You don't hurt a horse. Uh, what's your philosophy in a race? Well, you know, the, the whip uh, doesn't really help most horses and uh, it's, it can be abusive, uh, like 90% of the horses and more. You know that it just doesn't do them any good to when they're tired they'll let you know and you know hitting them really doesn't help at all. Kevin is finally getting the international attention he deserves as exemplified in this highlighted issue of Canada's premier racing publication the Canadian Sportsman and it's an easy decision why anyone wagering at the paramutual tracks should consider wagering on Kevin Wallace. I don't want to uh, win all the races I just want to win the races that I'm racing in. As a track announcer, one of the nice things about calling Kevin Wallace in a race is when they leave the gate, you always know Kevin is going for the front because he always likes to be in the thick of things early.